the other day in the office, Matt and I were talking about sports talking. We should talk about as sports fans the most crushing losses we've we've experienced as fans. So, Massey, I'll let you go. I know probably what they are for you as, as 49ers fan, as a 49ers fan. Uh, yeah, as a Niners fan, and that like I like the Orioles and Pistons too, and uh, I can get, cover those too. But we'll we'll start with the Niners. Uh, there's a lot of them. I mean, they're all crushing. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's a lot to choose from. But the worst, as I've said many times, was they had they had won two straight Super Bowls in '88 and '89. They were the best team in 1990. They had home field advantage. They play the stinking New York Giants. God, I hate the Giants. <laughs> uh, they got it. They, they're up 13 to 12 late. Montana got hurt. But they were still they were they were running out the clock, and Roger Craig. God, I love Roger Craig. He's my favorite running back of all time. But he fumbles away the three peat, and the Giants recover. <laughs> they go down, and freaking Matt Barr kicks a forty-two yard field goal as time expires, and the stinking Giants, who were so inferior to the 49ers <laughs> that year, end the bid for a three peat, and then go on to win the Super Bowl. And it was it. Could have been the first team to ever three-peat, and I'll, I'll never get over it. It, it. It'll haunt me, too. It'll haunt me forever. And there's a lot of them I could go with, but that's the one that just keeps me up at night. Now, was that the game where you broke a chair afterwards? No, or that was... Or? No, Now, the, uh, the chair was my cru- the most crushing Pistons loss. Oh, when they, okay. <laughs> when uh, they called a phantom BS foul on Bill Lambeer in the final seconds when they were beating the Lakers by one. On Kareem, Kareem hits the foul shots. The Pistons would have won the series four to two, won their first championship. The Lakers were gifted the win, and Isaiah Thomas got hurt in that game. So then the Lakers won Game Seven and stole the championship <laughs> from the Pistons, who then won the next two. So they would have also three peated, and that's when yeah, my dad, my dad had an antique chair that belonged to his to his mom, and I picked it up in the basement and threw it down. <laughs> My dad came down and just kind of shook his head, was like, what is wrong with you? So that was the one you're talking, this was the one. Gotcha, gotcha. I was 14 years old, going on 15, when the Niners lost this game to the Giants, and I literally was sobbing uncontrollably when they lost. <laughs> and my parents like ran up into my bedroom and was like, what, what is wrong? <laughs> It was like the Niners lost, and they. <laughs> my parents are like, "What did we do wrong?" <laughs> so that's. I'll give you what. I'll give you the Orioles one two while we're on it, and then I'll, you can go off on yours. But uh, Mike Mussina can relate to this one because he pitched as well as a pitcher can pitch in the '97 ALCS. The Orioles were the best team in baseball that year. They're superior to the Cleveland Indians. Here they were playing. He struck out 15 in game three. They somehow only give him one run of support. They lose two to one in extra innings. Flash forward, the, the Orioles are down 3-2 in the series. Mucina goes out, shuts Cleveland out again. I mean, he, was, he had beaten Randy Johnson twice in the p- previous series. Nobody could touch him. And they don't score him any runs, literally. <laughs> and then they go into extra innings again, and they lose one to nothing, and they lose the series because Armando freaking Benitez <laughs> blew it again for a second straight year. God, that guy was awful. Under- <laughs> as soon as the Orioles brought him in that day, I was like, well, they lost. <laughs> and they did. And so that was as close as the Orioles have been to the World Series since 1983. And that – I don't know who it bothers more, Mike Mussina or me. <laughs> Well, you said you talked to him after a game, and you just told you. Kind yeah, of, hey, he said you I got. Yeah, go. He said you got to let it go, and I was like, "Note to self: the guy who pitched as well as anybody can pitch uh, is is getting over it more than the fan who has no uh, impact on the game or affiliation with the Orioles is." But uh, it still makes me mad. So anyway, yeah, for I, me, I, I took a lot of time there. Yeah. For me, I'm a I'm a huge Chargers fan. Been Chargers fan since I was a kid because uh, I always thought the lightning bolt was awesome and cool. So that's kind of how I'm a fan because of their logo. But uh, for me, it was the 2006 AFC Divisional Playoffs against that's the Patriots. One. <laughs> you know, they Tom Brady that you know the drive in New England, then he throws throws a pick down the left side of the field. Marlon McCree gets it, <laughs> and I remember I was so in a, in a span of about six seconds, I went from <laughs> ecstatic to worried. To frustrated, to sad, all within like a quick few seconds. Because Marlon McCree gets the pick, then he fumbles it away. New England gets the ball back, and then of course they go on and end up beating 
beating the Chargers in that one, which yep. the Chargers, that was their year to win the Super Bowl. Uh, they, they would, they would easily beat Manning and the Colts yeah. in the championship. They, they and there's were, no way the Bears would have beat that. No, team. they were the best team in the NFL <laughs> that year. That's it. You know, 14-2, and two, and they lose at home that way. And then, and then to add, like, you know, they like kicking when they're down. They decide, oh, let's fire Marty Schottenheimer here after the season. After, <laughs> after just a fourteen to, and two yeah. season, the best uh, year they ever had. That, that's by far. Of all teams, it had to be to the Patriots and Brady, that who was, I can't stand. It's, that was glorious. I knew when it and when that when that happened, I was like, well, the Patriots are going to win. You, you, <laughs> you give big Tom Brady another chance, he's going to he's going to burn you. Well, sure enough, yep, that's what happened. And that was back because I hated Peyton Manning with a passion, and that's when I was like torn because I was like, I love Brady, I'd love to see him get another ring, but I think I don't know if the Patriots can beat the Colts in Indy, and I, I know the Chargers will beat them, so I was torn. I was like, <laughs> do I go with my love for Brady and want them to win, or my hatred for Manning and keep the Colts from winning the Super Bowl? So it was tough. And then the next year, the Chargers, you know, get to the title game against the undefeated Patriots. But I kind of knew going into that one that they weren't going to win because they LT was out, Gates had a had a toe injury, yeah. Merriman was hurt on defense, Rivers was playing on one leg because he tore yeah, it the week before his, against Indy, which is great because I love how he was taunting the fans after that game when he said, "I'll yeah, be back." I'll and, be back. <laughs> he wasn't in that game, so Billy Volek beat Peyton Manning. <laughs> what? what Peyton Manning couldn't <laughs> beat Billy Volek in a depleted Chargers team at home? That's what Peyton Manning. You were always a choker. <laughs> Peyton Manning's great. Off the, off the field, I love Peyton Manning, but it, it, he was vastly overrated as a playoff quarterback. <laughs> great, great regular season quarterback. Exactly. But Tom Brady laughs at Peyton Manning. He's like, hey, you got two rings, huh? I got seven of them, so two, that's cute. <laughs> And, you know, Massey was talking, when he was talking about his devastating night and his loss, Massey was throwing out scores and this and that. And for you who don't know, Massey is pretty much an encyclopedia of Niners scores and knowledge from, like, <laughs> 80... Like, a, probably... 85 through like, like 90, 94 is yeah. the wheelhouse, but it's, I'm pretty good with a lot in other years. But but those are the ones that I'll pretty much nail. Like it's like like let's say the the third game in '94 for the for the Niners. No, it was the uh, that was Dion's first game with the Niners. Dion Sanders, <laughs> who I used to hate when he was in Atlanta, but then he put on a Niners uniform and it was amazing. I was like, this guy, I love this guy. <laughs> So he didn't, he didn't put because they signed him in midweek, so he didn't have a big role in it. And uh, we had to play the Los Angeles Rams. Oh, not the Rams. They got Jerome Bettis and Chris Miller. And <laughs> actually, the Rams stunk, so it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a big deal. But the Niners won 34 to 19. You can look it up. Like, I got nothing in front of me. There's no way of, I mean, I can tell you all this. Like, like in week three, 1985, if you want to keep going, I mean, nine years earlier, they beat the Raiders 34 to 10. In it Los is, Angeles, so I mean, you can look them both up. You're going to see that I'm right. I don't know if it's amazing or sad, but it's it's, it's a gift <laughs> nonetheless. The bonus, <laughs> bonus fact that that was the uh, this was the 75th anniversary year for the NFL. So this was where they were wearing all in week three of that year. They wore all the throwback unis. So the Niners had their fifth Niners had their 50s uniforms on, and the Rams had their 50s uniforms on. So it was. Uh, it was an interesting dichotomy of uniforms. <laughs> so, I <yeah>. can imagine. <laughs> we took it to them, and then they beat them again in uh, the 11th game of the year, 27-24, if you're wondering. Again, look it up. He's right. Yeah, I'm right. And actually, that one was 31-27. We were down 27-24. And, and then Young hit Jerry Rice with a late touchdown to win it. Rice had 16 catches in that game. Again, how you know all this? It just <laughs> <laughs> It is. I can say I, like, I can't remember something my wife tells me three minutes ago, but I can remember that stuff. I remember, I can tell you where I was watching the game, what the weather was like in Pennsylvania that day, who I was taunting. Uh, those were glorious times to be a Niners fan. <laughs> well, with that, folks, I think we'll let you go for the week. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next if, week. <laughs> if, you have any, if you have any scores you want me, your info that you want on any of those Niners games from those years, just hit me up. I'll give, you, I'll give you a lot of feedback he, on him. He could do that all day. <laughs>